Nibble Crook. When she gets here. One more little bite. Wow, this is great. Maybe just one more little bite. Uh-oh. What's in the bowl? The bowl? Uh, oh, the bowl! Uh, nothing. Smells like something really good was in here. Nah, uh, yeah, well, maybe there was. Hi, guys! You guys ready to go to the park? Yeah, let's go to the park! But wait! First I want you guys to try my new dog food. I saved some so you could taste. <laughs> What happened to my food? What do you mean? It's gone. That's what I mean. Wow. Someone ate every bite. Who could have done such a thing? Hmm. Maybe a kibble crook took it. Crook? Of course. What else do you call a dog who steals from another dog? Tebow, did you see anyone suspicious around here? Uh, I might have seen a dog running away down the street. Which way did he go? Well, uh, I think he was headed toward the tourist dock. Let's go find him and make him apologize to you, Cleo. Okay. Uh, I don't know, guys. He was pretty big. Bigger than Clifford? I don't think so. Come on, let's go get him. Okay. Right behind you. Oh, boy. We'll find that kibble crook if it takes all day. Okay, guys, spread out and smell for anything unusual. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they're not going to find anyone. The only kibble crick around here is me. Someone in there? 
Find something? Uh, oh, oh, hey, yeah. Oh. Maybe it's the crook. <laughs> You never know what a dog like this might do. Yeah, especially one stuffed with my kibble. Stand back, guys. I'm gonna blow his cover. <laughs> what in the world are those? Well, they're stuffed all right, but not with Cleo's kibble. I'll just put these back. Maybe we should just give up. I mean, it was only a little dog food. It was my little dog food. And that dog shouldn't have taken it without asking. Oh, yeah. Come on, everyone. Let's continue the investigation. Right. Let's go. Where are we headed, Mac? Every crook needs a good hideout, Clifford, and these caves are the perfect thing. Oh, wow, you really know yourself, Mac. Think he might be in here? Hello? Hello? I think he's here. He can't escape now. Let's go get him. Well, wait. Whoa! <gasps> what? what? Uh, I don't think you should go in there. Why not? Because, because I... Because you what, T-Bone? Because I'm the one who... Who... Who wants to go in there alone? You do? That's really brave of you, T. Yeah, well, maybe I can talk to him. I'll get him to apologize or something. I'll go with you. That's okay, Clifford. I'd rather go alone. Well, okay, if you want to. Be careful, T-Bone. Dogs like this don't like to admit when they've made a mistake. Yeah, I know. Okay, here I go. I wonder if T's found anything. I wonder if he's okay. I wonder if we should go in and check on him. I wonder if you could stand still for a minute. You're making a hole in the ground. Sorry. It's just that I'm worried about T-Bone. Maybe we should go in after him. He really wanted to do it alone. You're right. I just hope he's okay. Oh, boy. I've really done it now. I'm never going to be able to tell Cleo that I'm the real kibble crook. Real kibble crook. Real kibble crook. Real kibble crook. I know, I know! I know, I know! I know, I know! But I have to tell her. I just wish I'd told her the truth in the first place. Oh well. Here I go. to agree with Cleo. I can't help it. I'm worried about Tebow. Maybe it's time to go in after him now. Yeah, let's go. T-Bone! Are you okay? Where's the crook? Did you find him? Yeah, I found the crook. I want to talk to him. Where is he? He's right here. Huh? What do you mean, T? I mean, I I'm the kibble crook. I'm the one who ate your dog food, Cleo. I'm really sorry. Why didn't you just tell me before, T-Bone? I guess I was afraid to at first. I, I thought you'd be mad. And then I wanted to tell you, but it kept getting harder and harder. But I promise, from now on, I'm always going to tell the truth, right from the beginning, even if I think someone might get mad. 
You know, T, I probably would have been a little mad, but all I really wanted was an apology. Once I got that, I'd be over it. Are you mad at me now? Yeah. You are? Yep. <laughs> Now I'm over it. Huh? Great! <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's go back to my house and try my new dog food. Great! Yeah! Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the New Ball. One day, Reba was showing Speckle her new red ball. She bounced the ball so high, it almost touched the clouds. That is a great ball, said Speckle. It sure is, agreed Reba. In fact, I'll bet Ravi would like to play with it, too. And she walked away, taking her new ball with her. I thought she wanted to play with me, he sighed. He was even a little sad. But Reba can play with whoever she wants, Speckle thought. And he went back to his sandbox. He began building a sandcastle when Reba's new ball suddenly landed at his feet. Speckle looked up and saw Reba and Ravi. Are you ready to play ball? asked Reba. Speckle realized that all along, Reba had wanted to play with Ravi and him. Okay, he yelled back, and the three of them laughed and played and had a wonderful day. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Excellent. You going somewhere, Dad? I have an appointment with Dr. Majority today, Charlie. I think I need a new pair of glasses. Can we stay here, Dad? I can keep an eye on things for you. Well, I suppose it would be okay. Yes! But if you two need anything, be sure and ask Pedro. He'll be working next door today. We will. Okay, then. I'll be back in about an hour. Bye -bye. See you soon. Hey, Emily Elizabeth, want an ice cream cone? Can we? Sure. My dad lets me have them all the time. Wow, I didn't know you knew how to work this thing. Uh, it's no big deal. Here you go. Excuse me, can I get one of those too? Uh, sorry, it's closed right now. But I can get you one. Sure, I help my dad all the time. If you're sure it's okay. It's no problem, really. There you go, sir. Thanks so much. That was great, Charlie. Your dad's gonna be so proud of you. Thanks. Come on, let's play. Can we get two combs, please? Uh, okay. I don't think they're playing anymore. It's too hot for hockey anyway. Yeah, I wish we had some of that ice cream. There you go. 
Hey, thanks. Come again. Boy, is it hot. What I wouldn't give for an ice cream cone. Whoa! Look at all the tourists. Get ready, Emily Elizabeth. We're gonna do some business. Okay. Thanks for helping me, Emily Elizabeth. I could never do this by myself. We've got lots of help, Charlie. Right, Cleo? Ah. Ice cream and a giant fan. What a perfect way to cool off on a hot summer day. Yeah, I'll definitely be coming back to this place again. Whew. I'm getting kind of tired. Me too. Is it always this busy? Sometimes it's busier. I don't know how my dad does it all. Uh, Charlie, that's high enough. Charlie, turn it off. I'm trying. What's wrong with it? I don't know. It's stuck. <gasps> Emily, quick, get some cones. Here. But what do we do with them when they're full? Fun. I should have brought my water skis. Here, Cleo. Hurry and get rid of these, then come back for more. Oh, no. There's no more customers. Now what do we do? Well, we... Uh, uh, um, start eating! this, Cleo? Don't ask, T-Bone. Just eat. Oh. Okay. myself. Oh, my God. 
Charlie, we need help. No, we don't. I told my dad I'd keep an eye on things. I can take care of this. See? All I see is a big mess. Hey, big guy, how about a push? Sure, Cleo. Can I try? Let me try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do, Emily. This never happened when my dad was here. Maybe there's some secret, special way to turn it off. If there is, I don't know it. I know how to turn it off. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Yes, you are. The secret is to lift up a bit before pushing down. Oh. But the only way you'd have known that is if I taught you. I'm sorry, Dad. We'll clean it up. Every last drop. Yes, you will. Why in the world didn't you go ask Pedro for help, Charlie? I thought I could take care of it by myself, Dad. Charlie, you're not old enough to take care of everything by yourself. Sometimes you need to ask an adult for help. I know that now, Dad. From now on, I'll ask for help when I need it. I promise. Good. Then you've learned a good lesson today, son. But there's one more lesson I'd like you to learn. What's that, Dad? How to clean up a really, really big mess. Right. I never want to eat another ice cream cone in my whole life. Me neither. Oh, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I was kind of hoping they'd spill some more. Well, it looks like you two did a pretty good job of cleaning. Thanks, Dad. But you missed a spot. We'll get it. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. It's important to always tell the truth. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. I love my new bird bath. Cleo, where are you? Whoa! Oh, no. I broke it. <gasps> what happened? Uh, I don't know. Clifford did it. Clifford, you broke my bird bath. Huh? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. T-Bone said so. He didn't break it, Cleo. I did. It was an accident. I'm really sorry. How can I trust you if you lie to me, T-Bone? You made me yell at Clifford, and he didn't even do anything. I'm sorry. From now on, I'm going to tell the truth right from the start. Sometimes it's really hard, but telling the truth is always the right thing to do. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. Where 
is everyone? Something smells good. Wow. Something looks good, too. I'm gonna ask Cleo if I can have a bite when she gets here. <laughs> 